Hello everybody, welcome to another Tips and Tricks tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show how you can generate printable files from your print layout mode. In essence, how to create a marker. Depending on your setup and access to a plotter, we can create both a PDF or a PLT file to print from. Before I can start laying out my marker, I have to make some preparations. Since Glow itself doesn't need seam allowances to build 3D garments, usually they are added as a last step to get your style ready for the generation of a marker layout on the fabric. Also, notches, while also important for sewing in 3D, might need some extra attention before printing. I'm going to work on this jersey garment that I've prepared. I have already added seam allowances with the seam allowance tool and squared off the corners where appropriate. Because this is a jersey garment, I have set the notches to V-type and flipped them outwards so that they can be cut off during production by the overlock machine. These steps depend, of course, on the type of garment and the material you're working with and are just meant as an example of steps that might be necessary. Since I want to print on paper, I'm going to add a new material to the object browser that I call paper. And temporarily assign all of the pattern pieces that I want to print to it. As a next step, I will switch modes to print layout and in print layout I set the newly created paper to the width of my plotter paper. Normally this is about 90 centimeters, but this depends on the model of your plotter. If I don't have access to a plotter, or the pattern pieces don't fit on a 90 centimeter rectangle, I can increase this to a suitable dimension. In the next step, I can choose whether I would like to nest and print the pattern more than once. And I can choose that here under number of garment. Current means that uh, the size of the garment is the size that I have in my workspace. And I can choose any number of garment that I like. In case there is grading, I can also set this to grading. And then under select grading, choose how many of each size I want to uh, print out. So in essence, I'm creating a full graded market layout. I'm going to keep it at uh, one garment. Also, I can set a buffer spacing that means the space between pattern pieces and for most operations 5 mm is sufficient. Once all of my settings are in place, I can let the algorithm nest my patterns. To print via plotter, the procedure is quite straightforward. I can either send it to the plotter directly if that's connected, or if not, I can export to a PLT file and then send that to the plotter. For a PLT file, 
the step to uh, create the layout via the print layout is actually uh, really important. Without it, the plotter would print all of the pattern pieces stacked on top of each other. If I only have access to a regular printer, I can export the full-size print layout to a PDF that I can then tile, print, and glue back together. To do that, I click on Snapshot. In the dialog menu, select Size Preset 1 on 1. The orientation I keep on Portrait. And then in the options, I can tick on which information I still would like to display on my pattern. For instance, it makes sense to have the grain lines visible, pattern names, pattern annotations, and if I have them, buttons and buttonhole positions. I click on save and then decide on a name for my PDF. Important, under Save as Type, I select PDF file in the drop-down menu. And then click on Save. If I open my PDF, all the pattern pieces are there. I can now print it as a poster with cutting marks on any Piper size that my printer can handle. I hope this helps. Thank you for listening along. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Bye.